All right, you guys want to talk about the Jing news? We can talk about the Jing news. So, there was an announcement from the org. Uh, this one. Let me let me pull it up. Yeah, PaperX tweeted after coming third in a tournament that they didn't think that they were going to. You binge watched Elden Ring vods. Thank you for the eleven months, Deathstroke. Yeah, after finishing third at a tournament that they thought they would only get a single win in, and from Monyet going from looking like he was not synced up with the roster to actually doing what Jing was doing in their team and fragging out to an incredible level, taking over the game at times, particularly on split against um, Sentinels, uh, they've now benched him and brought Jing back, who's got a... Long-term military, uh, sorry, long-term medical thing that prevents him from partaking in his medical service. Dude, long-term medical thing that prohibits him from taking part in his military service. How do the words work? So, yeah, Jing has, it has been assessed that Jing has a lifelong medical condition that's managed with ongoing treatment. Listen, I don't know what that is. Who knows? Um, I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Normally, these kind of things are not super serious. They just prohibit you from being part of uh, military service. I think if it was more serious than this, we would have known beforehand. But who knows? Who knows? I think he'll be okay. Yeah. It can be as simple as being like flat-footed, bad sight, asthmatic. I don't know. There's like a, a large range of things that are low level that stop you from being part of military service. And... I would, I would imagine, I would speculate that it's something like that. Oh. So, yeah, Jing's been brought back. And unfortunately, that means that Monia is pushed to the bench. Monia has been moved to re the reserve player role. Ready to resume an active role should the need res uh, arise. But Monia's basically, like, he just, in my opinion, was the main reason that they ended up getting the top three result versus where they were before. You know, his... Improvement and assimilation within the team um, helped them achieve the top three result that they probably should have been able to achieve. Um, I guess the other way of framing that is that Monyet's inexperience within the team was holding them back from being a top three team prior to that during kickoff. But I prefer to phrase it in a more positive way. But now he's just been benched. So sucks for Monyet. I saw everybody, everybody in the comments was like, Let's fucking go Jing, like, welcome back Jing, return of the Jing, etc. But I feel bad for Monyet. I mean, it's cool seeing Jing back, obviously, but, like, Monyet presumably got signed to this team with the expectation that Jing would be out the entire year. That's, that's rough. Especially when he's just had an incredibly good tournament performance. Incredibly good tournament performance. And I think this makes his career situation really difficult to assess. And what would you do if you were in Monyet's position? Would you continue playing with Paper X? You probably don't get very much game time. Maybe they run you on a couple maps because they, they might be willing to run a six-person roster. They did at the beginning of last year. Not that it worked for them. They had to settle on a full five-person without Benkai, but... So... Yeah, Jing was, of course, going to come back at some point. Of course, Lord Flockerman. But... We weren't expecting that this year. Or at least some people weren't. Definitely. <laughs> definitely quite a few people were. Which I won't go into. But yeah. I don't know what Monyet does here. Like what is the. What's the play? Because other teams would probably offer him a spot. He's a really good duelist and smokes player. Which is an excellent thing to have, especially if you have a hard jet player on your team. But it might be better just to stick on this team. I mean, I'm sure Alex is going to keep working with him, but that doesn't mean he's going to be getting scrim time. That doesn't mean that he's going to be getting serious match experience. That... I mean, that, that sounds very much like a... We're going to do what we can kind of situation. Personal coaching, if they don't have 
time to play inside the team environment is less useful than if he just played on a bad team. But if they're willing to integrate him really heavily in terms of the team environment, like even if he doesn't get scrim time, if he's there, involved, watching them all the time, like giving feedback to Jing or Mind Freak or whoever is in his position and they they figure out a system like that. It has been done before that you can survive as a six person roster. But yeah. Who knows? Who knows? It's a weird one. It's a really weird one. And also, does this really change how I feel about Paper X? Nah. It actually doesn't. Like, maybe some other people will be more excited about this and be like, yo, they made top three without Jing. They're definitely winning with Jing. Like, no. They looked really good towards the end of Madrid. They looked almost exactly as good as they were last year when Monier was playing well towards the end of the, the split. Jing being back doesn't help them beat Gen G in that upper bracket game. That's not a Jing versus Monier difference. That's a Gen G completely red the way that Paper X is playing. Is it going to be easier for Paper X to adapt their style with Jing back in? Possibly because they've got more experience and more time together. So they don't have to build up the foundation. But also, Jing's a very one track kind of player. I don't think I've ever seen Jing not be opportunistic, aggressive, swinging people. That's That's been him. So, I don't know. Yeah, this is like a. This is like an upset third place to consistent third place kind of move. I don't. I don't believe the hype around this being like, yeah, they're gonna become instantly god tier. If Gen G falls off, though, this Paper X team should be easily the best team in Pacific. So, yeah, it's strange. Strange. Anyway, yeah, that's my that's my take on the Jing situation. I was super surprised to see that. I was really surprised to see that.